Welcome to DeFi News. Today we're going to be talking about Solana flipping Ethereum, Kamala Harris getting crushed in poly market, and can Sui become the Solana of this bull market? Let's get into it. So this is a post by Solana Floor, and you can see here that Solana's has been crushing it in terms of the fees that it's generating over the last few days. And based on 24 hours, you can see here that Solana is definitely uh, above Ethereum by $500,000, which is fantastic. That means, you know, a lot of people are using Solana. Now, is this hype or is this like actual real stuff? Well, I think it's a little bit of both because you do have a lot of meme coin mania going on on Solana, which is really a lot of rug pulls, a lot of BS coins that are just really going to go nowhere. And so what I'm looking for is like, where's the actual real use in this, such as borrowing and lending, people really using this as a way to trade, but not just trade shit coins, but actually trade real coins that have real world use value, or let's say gaming or AI. I'm not seeing too much of that compared to like, let's say Ethereum. Now, one of the tools that we teach in our course is DeFi Llama. And you can see here all of the different either decentralized applications, cryptocurrencies that are fee generating and or uh, layer ones, layer two solutions that uh, generate fees as well. And you know, the, the numbers that this uh, Solana floor was showing you can shape this a little bit differently. This was just a couple days ago when they posted this, but if you take a look uh, at the 24 hours right now, Ethereum's way ahead of Solana in terms of fees, even though it's pretty close here in terms of placing. But if you take a look at the seven day, uh, Solana is uh, a little bit ahead of Ethereum, okay? And if you take a look at the 30 days, Ethereum is just crushing. So. Ethereum still on a longer time frame is still generating more fees. So are we gonna see Solana flipping Ethereum anytime soon in terms of like its price, its market cap? I don't know. And we're just starting to get a leg up in the crypto market. So we're gonna keep our eye on this, but Solana, we're super bullish on it. We are buying it and I'm gonna show you, we actually have it in our managed vault where we manage uh, people's money on the blockchain and where you don't lose custody, which is really cool. Now, let's talk about our next section, which is this presidential election winner of 2024. We're just a few days away, actually about a week away from the election as of this recording. And this chart is just starting to deviate like crazy. I mean, this is pretty hardcore if this is really the outcome. Now, we're starting to see like a lot of misleading things because like on CNN, you see this thing where Kamala and Trump are neck and neck. Then you'll see Fox News and it's not that case. What people are really looking at honestly right now is poly markets because poly markets have usually been right more than wrong. Now, this is an interesting thing though, because people put their money where their mouth is. And it's not like just, you know, some random people calling other people. You know, I read an article the other day that it was very, very hard to get a hold of people for these different polls. And they're having a hard time getting accurate polling these days. But when you have something like this, I actually believe that it's when people put their money where their mouth is, they're making calculated guesses on this based off of what their reality is. And right now it looks like more people's reality is leaning towards trump now by the way i don't endorse trump or kamala i'm not a republicrat or a Democrat. i kind of stay out of politics but i do find this very interesting because this is something that's on the polygon network and people are using crypto to bet on these markets now this is getting so hot that actually robin hood is also looking to do the same exact thing. They want a piece of the prediction markets. And this is gonna be a thing of the future, guys and gals, because people love betting and people love putting their money where their mouth is, even if they're not always right. But this is something where I'm just looking at it and going, well, you know, these prediction markets, and by the way, in all prediction markets, I didn't have the chart pulled up here, but in all the major ones right now, Trump is 
way ahead, not just by a little bit, but by a lot. Again, not an endorse endorsement of Trump. I just find it very interesting. Now, the thing that I do find also very interesting is that if you come back over here, you can see that the popular vote winners. So at the beginning, I was like, whoa, Trump is way down compared to uh, Kamala on the popular vote. But we're now starting to see these two intersect here, which, you know, could be a really, really big deal and could be, again, a sign of uh, a runaway here for Trump. Uh, so this should be very, very interesting. Again, we're starting to see this the lead is starting to narrow for Kamala in regards to the popular vote. So you're starting to see guys like Tim Waltz the other day saying that he wants to see a way with the Electoral College. But, you know, if Trump ends up winning the, the popular vote, which I believe he did against Hillary, uh, I think that he may eat his words. So anyways, this is a very, very interesting thing. I'm actually just interested to see how accurate these things are. I'm going to be watching this through the rest of the election. And on Tuesday, you know, we'll really be able to see, you know, what's going on here. And if the these polls or not polls, but these these poly markets, these prediction markets are more accurate than polls. And I think if that's the case, people are going to start paying attention more and more. And you can see a lot of growth in this in the future months. And lastly, we get on to Sui. Sui is really, really starting to crush it. There are some meme coin things going on on Sui, but it is more related around DeFi. And I haven't necessarily used the actual DeFi protocols on Sui or the layer one uh, Sui network, but I've heard a lot of good things. This thing processes you know, I think it's about hundreds of thousands of transactions per second, which is something that you do need. And I have heard that it doesn't have the problems that Solana has had, like when you have times of like super crazy meme coin degenerate volume, uh, Sui has been able to basically hold up and Solana has just completely crashed. Now they're saying that with the new Solana upgrades that are gonna be coming up here in the, the next following months, that you're gonna start seeing less of that. But you're starting to see a lot of inflow into Sui, which is good for that chain because as you start to see more inflow, then what ends up happening is you have more trading, you have more of the decentralized applications in Sui getting used, more fees, more attraction, more adoption. And those are certainly things that I'm looking for. Now, there's two ways that you can go about this. And you know, both are good. One might be a little bit more conservative. One might be a little bit more aggressive, but you can, first of all, move your crypto onto the SUI network. And if you do that, you can start like yield farming. You can start liquidity pool mining and earning yield doing those certain things. By the way, those are things that we actually teach in our course. And I'm gonna leave a link down below to a video that I really want you to watch that gives a little bit more clarity as to how you can participate in DeFi to actually make some real money the way that the banks and the institutions do in a non-Ponzi scheme way, in a way where you have full control of your money. And this has been something that I've been doing. I made millions of dollars using DeFi over many years now. I was one of the first to adopt it back in 2020. And now you can learn it. We've got a great community, a lot of really, really good stuff. So click the link below. There's an explainer video as to how this all works. And you'll be able to see exactly how with Sui you can make some additional money. Now, the other thing that we also teach is leverage trading. Now, I only leverage trade on the blockchain. Now, why is that? Because you have things like FTX, these exchanges, which are centralized. The centralized exchanges have custody of your money. When they custody your money, if they go under like FTX did and like hundreds of other exchanges since I've been in crypto and I've been in since 2017, have gone under and they've taken people's money with them, all right? If you don't want that to happen, then what you wanna learn is how to leverage trade if this is something that you wanna do on the blockchain and the technology is getting crazy crazy fast now one of the leverage trading platforms that i use is games.trade they've got a ton of different things that you can trade on including 
commodities, Forex, meme coins, crypto, all sorts of stuff, but they have a very, very large selection of different things. And the thing that I like the most, because I actually have some algorithms for these, is you can trade commodities such as gold, oil, silver, palladium. It's really, really, really pretty cool. So if you're gonna use a decentralized perpetual or leverage trading exchange, I would definitely use gains.trade and I have a link down below if you want to do that. And I've done also videos that you can watch right here. You can start with part one on how to leverage trade and I go and use it in here. Now, what? why am I even showing you this? Well, you can see here, I actually have SUI as one of my trades, all right? And I have it as a 3.1X long. Now, I anticipate for SUI to reach the heights of Solana, okay? There's a lot of inflow going in, there's a lot of DeFi going in, there's a lot of VC money in it, so they're gonna be pushing that during this narrative. And if we saw what happened with Solana, I think we're like 21X if Sui can hit Solana's all-time high. And Solana's not too far off from its all-time high from before. If we're able to capture that, that's a 20X. So if I'm 3X leveraging, that means I'll actually get a 60X. Now, things you wanna make sure, you don't get liquidated, you're practicing risk management. Again, those are things that we teach, but this is definitely something a tool that I'm using to maximize my SUI. Now, in order for me to get a three times, uh, now, in order for me to get a three times gain on my SUI in like a yield farm, I would have to be getting for one year consistent 300% in fees and rewards and all that stuff, which just isn't practical. You're never going to have that much momentum on a crypto because there's many things that happen. There's dilution, uh, the, there's a lack of volume, there's all sorts of things that happen. So I just like to cut to the chase. How can I use other people's money at a very low interest rate and get this into the market so that I can capitalize on these major legs up? This is what I'm doing. And guys, gals, it has worked for me. I've taken you know, my portfolio from you know, tens of thousands to millions of dollars using the techniques that I use now. So, and we're on our next leg up right now. So it's gonna be some very, very interesting time. So the other thing that I wanted to talk to you about also, not just Sui, but Solana. So we've actually got this thing called a managed vault where we're actually investing in Solana. Now we're not using leverage in this strategy with Solana but we are holding it and we do believe that Solana is going to perform very very well. In my opinion, you know, we could see probably anywhere between like a 4 and a 6 times your investment in Solana. That's not financial advice. That's just what I believe. But we've got this in a very balanced portfolio here using very strict risk management. So you definitely definitely want to take a look at this if you don't have time to invest. You wanna take a look at this because this is something where you can actually hold this crypto in your custody while we manage it. I can't take it out, nobody can take it out, only you can take it out. And this is a benefit that we've provided for our students. That's all I got today. But if you like this video, do me a favor, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and then tickle that notification button because you want to get notified every single time one of my videos come out because there is a lot of money to be made right now all right guys and gals see you on the next one cheers